may not be the eighth wonder of the world, but this is still one ape you don't want to mess with. The system is operational. Then we'll take our leave. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we will explore the comic book origins of Gorilla Grodd. Today, a new age dawns. Today, Grodd rules. As with most comic book characters, there are often reimaginings and different versions to a character's past. We've chosen to primarily follow the storyline which unfolded in 1959's Flash number 106, which was expanded upon in 1989's Secret Origins number 40 and 2012's Flash number 9. This is something that has to be done in front of the whole world. Do your part and I'll let you bring down the final curtain. Gorillas have actually been a mainstay of DC Comics for decades, with Gorilla Grodd arguably being the most famous of them all. Since his debut in 1959, Grodd has been a major menace to the Flash, as well as many other heroes in the DC Universe. Grodd's story began when a strange craft landed outside of Central City, home of the Scarlet Speedster. The unseen pilot of the ship was clearly embarking upon some sort of secret plan. This could be the greatest discovery in the history of mankind. At the same time, Barry Allen, aka The Flash, received a call from a friend of his who was having troubles. His friend, Fred Pearson, was a performer famous for an act where he dressed up like a gorilla. Coincidentally, Central City residents had recently seen a strange gorilla running wild through the streets at night. Fred was afraid that he might be blacking out and creating havoc in his gorilla suit. Barry agreed to help his friend. Grod hate banana. Meanwhile, the pilot of the strange craft was revealed to be an intelligent, talking gorilla named Grod. He was searching for Solovar, another gorilla who had been captured by humans. Finding him in a circus, Grodd revealed that both of these apes possessed telepathic powers. You can't control us while we're wearing these. Actually, I wasn't thinking of controlling you. Grodd used his powers to learn the secret of controlling other people's minds from Solovar. With this power, he returned to his homeland, intent on conquering it first and then the whole world. Grodd has sworn terrible revenge on all who reside in Gorilla City. Solovar escaped and tracked down the Flash to enlist his help in stopping Grodd. The two traveled to Gorilla City, a civilization of advanced apes hidden from the rest of the world. Gorilla City? You've got to be kidding. Grodd had already enslaved Gorilla City, but Flash was able to use his super speed to knock the villain unconscious. Solovar theorized that the Flash also apparently managed to knock out Grodd's telepathic abilities at the same time. Unfortunately, Solovar was wrong about this, and Grodd returned many times to plague the Flash with his mental powers, his intelligence, and his super strength. More was learned about both Gorilla Grodd and Gorilla City over the years. In a 1989 retelling, readers learned that the gorillas of Gorilla City became so advanced because of their encounter with an alien being. This alien being was also responsible for both Solovar's and Grodd's superior telepathic powers. When humans stumbled upon Gorilla City, Grodd used the opportunity to destroy the alien being and to begin his long-range plan to dispose Solovar and run Gorilla City. DC's New 52 brought about a new origin for Grodd in 2012. When reintroduced in Flash number 9, Grodd was even more vicious and ruthless than before. Grodd's new thing was apparently eating the brains of his enemies, including his own father, whose murder by Grodd made him the new king. When the Flash suddenly appeared among the gorillas, he was taken to be the messenger of light, whose coming had been foretold. In this version, the gorillas received their special intelligence from some form of lightning which they called the Light. The elders believed that the Flash was going to lead them to a new era. Grodd, however, wanted nothing to disrupt his own plans. He tried to kill the Flash so he could consume his brain too. Fortunately, things didn't work out that way. <laughs> Gorilla Grodd has been one of the most popular of the Flash's foes and has returned again and again to challenge the speedster. With his unwavering intent to rule the world, Grodd has taken megalomania to new heights and the world can be thankful that the Flash and other heroes have always been there to foil his plans. Now you can feel the pain. Uh, I felt worse. Oh. Are you a fan of the ruthless Gorilla Grodd? <laughs> Even my mind isn't that powerful. For more comic book origins, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Trying to get them to trust each other, huh? Not the easiest thing for loners, sociopaths, and psychos.